So what is condition scoring? Well, condition scoring is a very simple system of assessing how much fat cows have, how much body fat they have. And that's important because body fat is a big store of energy to the cow she can use when feed is in short supply. But the next question is, why should farmers bother to condition score their cows? Well, to me, it's essential for several reasons. First, it has a huge impact on the output of the cow. For a start, we all know very fat cows are likely to have calving difficulties, and if we're not careful, we'll end up with losing calves. The other thing the fatness of the cow, her condition influences, is her fertility. And again, if we don't get cows pregnant, we have no calves and we make no money. So it ha that's the big effect it has on output. But unbelievably, it also helps us achieve these critical targets by reducing costs because we can use this fat on the cow's back, which she's put on relatively cheaply over the summer off of grass in the winter to help reduce our winter feed costs. So basically it's a win-win situation for the profitability of suckle calf production. So how do we condition score cows? Well, what we're trying to do is we go to the loin area of the cow here and the here are the ribs, but at this point off the spine, there's four short ribs, just like the ends of my fingers. And what we're trying to do with our thumb is to feel how easily we can identify those bones and how sharp they are to the touch. So if I put my hand uh, there with my thumb running along there, I can identify these bones quite easily. There's the first one, second one, third one, and the fourth one right back there. So I can feel the bones quite easily. But unlike my fingers, they're not sort of sharpish to touch. They feel as if they're cushioned with a bit of foam rubber. So I would call this cow a condition score two. And just to confirm that, if I go to the tail head, this area around the tail here, and press there, she's reasonably hard over her tail. There's really next to no fat there. So I can identify these bones very easily, but they're rounded, they're not sharp to the touch. So I'd call this cow a condition score of two. Right, well here, here we've got a cow fitter than the last one. So again, first thing we do, see if we can feel these bones here. And yeah, I can just about identify the bones there, but they've got to press very hard to feel them. So I know this cow is getting near a condition score three. If I go to the tail head here, then yeah, there's a bit of soft fat around the tail head. She's beginning to lay down fat there. So I'm very happy to call this cow a condition score of three. Right, well we've looked at how to condition score and how to start off condition scoring and it's exactly the same with this cow here who's obviously a lot fitter. If I go to the loin area here, pressing as hard as I can, there's no way I can identify those individual bones. So I know she's over a condition score of three and we have to move to the tail end of the cow to assess her condition more accurately. But I know this cow isn't a five because at a condition score of five, this cow's hide is attached to her backbone at various points along here. And as she fills this up further with fat, you end up with little dimples on their back. So I know this cow isn't a five, she's over a three, and I now go to the tail head to assess how much over a three she is. So now we come to the tail head of the cow, it's very obvious that she's carrying a lot of condition. And if we look across here, it looks as if her tail head has actually sunk. But of course it hasn't moved at all because it's skeleton, it's still in the same place. What she's done is she's packed in masses of fat here, almost in a sort of big life belt around her tail, which makes it look as if her tail is sunk. So I'd very happily call this cow a condition score of four to four and a half while it's important to lay your hands on the cows and feel them when you first start assessing condition score, very quickly you get your eye in and can do it visually. So my advice would always be to handle to condition score the first quarter of the cows going through the crate and what have you, and thereafter you can just do it by eye in splitting them up. The imp most important thing about condition scoring is to act on what you find. We've got to use condition scoring, and that means grouping them on their condition and adjusting management accordingly.